So if you, you want to talk about element part one, you got to fix your alcohol around you. And it gets like really nasty. Again, maybe alcohol consumption. Some people have it right. Some people are lucky that they can consume alcohol. I'm not telling you not to consume alcohol. I'm just saying that alcohol is not for me. Some people are lucky they know how to manage alcohol well. Some people they are in denial that they can and some people they cannot. People talk about responsibility. That responsibility vanishes after the first little uh, sip passes your throat. Gullet. This is like the Newton's law of cooling. This is like uh, Henry's law of uh, uh, responsibility. It's like a exponential curve that drops. Consumption of alcohol, x-axis, and responsibility on y-axis. And the uh, first sip you take like, bzzz, it goes and drops. Into my pet for a while. For steps of stuff. They would be worshipping the the Budweiser and uh, expressing your Michelob ads. Yeah, as a password. How would that be like a good password? Would you like the password? Michelob ads. Yeah, you you're getting a little too hot like in the Michelob hat. If your whole relationship and your own connection with your friendship and your lover and your boyfriend, it has to be have the third girlfriend and thing with alcohol always there, then there's a sure likelihood you're going to be expressing and experiencing your intimate partner violence. Now, um, that is one thing I'll call it there. If you have any doubts for alcohol, you do experiment with it. Take it out of your life and uh, put it back so you... I noticed because when I went through, I was in BC, British Columbia, I went through one of the treatment centers. So there were about 25 men in the room. So I looked at them, like pretty much everyone's life was the same, like the same thing. <laughs> so then I, uh, I was resistant, so like I am not no good for alcohol. I was no, no good for alcohol. Like how, how can you do that to a man? Like, like that's, uh, that's like a real, real wrong man. Like slowly, it's like the, the program is based on the North Korean brain sanitation, sa sanitizing workstation program. So it's like the 17 kind of weeks. You use the same methodology, you see. When uh, you might have resistance to the but you will be. Sometime. Well, you only wish that it was so true, you know, because that the program has a failure rate. It has like almost, again, like statistically speaking, it has only like a 40% success rate to 20% success rate. You find the repeat call or repeat customers all the time, every time. Why? Because alcohol is so prevalent. Alcohol, people can't like resist the damn thing. They can't you know, live without it and they can't function without it and their romance doesn't exist without it and uh, their, their life is so intertwined with alcohol that they're repeat customers. But I am the fucking thanks be to God and Allah. I have been free of alcohol for around quite some time, more than 15 years. So I have one of these statistics that has passed that test. The program was successful. The 
not Korean Brain Sound Housing Program of Substance Abuse Management. But if you're going to abuse a substance, how to manage your abusiveness nature?